guys, welcome to my channel Tokyo Foodie Sarah. In this video today, I'm gonna be having some ramen at Ichiran. Ichiran Ramen is a restaurant that specializes in tonkotsu or pork broth ramen noodles. They have branches all across Japan and also in New York, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. The branch I went to was located in Ginza. Ginza is a posh shopping district in Tokyo, and this Ichiran Ginza branch serves a more premium ramen compared to the other branches. The ramen here comes in a posh square box. As you enter the restaurant, you can see all the autographs by celebrities. There were a lot of Japanese celebrities, as well as some celebrities from overseas. Once you enter the entrance, you get welcomed by a lovely staff. Or not, you get welcomed by this machine where you purchase your tickets. I went for the ramen bracket Ginza Jubako close bracket. Jubako is a type of box which you put food inside. It's normally used in special occasions like the New Year's. Ooh, fancy! Once you have placed your order, you take a seat at the counter. The counter is designed like this so that you can concentrate on the taste of the ramen. I'm really excited for today because I rarely have ramen and it's actually my first time here. So um, yeah, I'll see what the ramen actually tastes like. So their signature broth is the bone broth. They have this like secret red chili paste inside. You'll be given this order sheet where you can customize your ramen according to your preferences. If I am to name my ramen, it would be medium saltiness, lightweight, medium garlic, green onion, sliced pork, and medium spiciness ramen with firm noodles. Oof, that was long. Here, it says that the Ichiran ramen at Ginza serves high quality noodles and premium sliced pork. For the noodles, they use flour that has the surface of the wheat polished so that only the tasty bit of the wheat remains. For the pork, they use premium pork belly that has been aged well and wrapped carefully by hand. Okay, I'm gonna start having the ramen now. Mm. Oh my god, the bone broth is really, really rich. And I love the thin noodle because the soup comes with the noodles a lot more. So that's why in ramen I prefer those like thin noodles. It's really nice. Mm. In Japan, the soup of the ramen noodles are very, very hot. And I feel like overseas. Um, as a Japanese, I feel like they're quite lukewarm, but in Japan they're like really really hot and that's how we like it. The Ichiran system is great to keep the social distancing under the Covid situation, but it's also great for women who want to enjoy ramen noodles on their own. In Japan, ramen noodles are considered to be more of like a manly food. Uh, that's not my opinion, it's the general consensus. I generally think there are no manly or girly to any sort of food. Ramen noodles are quite unhealthy, and also you have to really get into the bowl and slurp those noodles out. Plus, ramen noodles, as I said, are hot, so you would most probably end up sweating after you finish eating a bowl. A lot of women, therefore, don't like to be seen by other people when eating ramen noodles, but Ichiran, with their isolated system, solves the embarrassment problem. That's why this place is quite popular by females and not only males. Mm. That is so rich and creamy. Oh my god, look at the piece of pork. Mm. There's another piece of pork. Mm. 
I don't know if you guys could tell, but I am actually wearing black today because I knew I was gonna spill some soup on my clothes. Yeah. And if I wore any like light colored t-shirt, I knew it would have been quite visible. So I'm safe today. I forgot about the egg. <laughs> the yolk of this egg is meant to be creamy, so I'm gonna see what it's like. I'm gonna cut this in half and put it in the sauce. <laughs> Oh, the egg is just so perfect. have been conquered and I'm gonna go for a second round so if you want to add some more things you get this piece of paper and place your order so I've decided to go for the half noodles and last time I went for the firm noodles so this one I'm gonna go for the medium noodles get some cash and call the stuff the isolated system comes in hand when ordering noodle refills you can order some additional ramen noodles and toppings without other people noticing. But just in case you're wondering, I am still on a cut, but it's like a once in a while treat for me and for the YouTube. So do make sure to give this video a like. Thanks. I trust you. Mm. Mm. I don't know why, but this one feels firmer. And this one's meant to be medium and the previous one's meant to be firm. I prefer this one, it's really nice. Mm.
I feel like I could have just gone for the full amount of refill. And the spiciness is definitely okay. Like, I feel like if you drink the soup, you can taste the spiciness, but as long as you just eat the noodles, um, I couldn't really taste the spiciness. So yeah, I feel like um, if you're good at spicy food, then you could just up your game a little bit, you know, just for the experience. All right, guys, that's it for the video today. That ramen was very, very nice. I highly recommend Ichiran ramen if you're ever visiting Japan. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it the thumbs up and subscribe to see more future videos about Japanese foods and culture. Bye! If I am to name my ramen, it would be medium saltiness, lightweight, medium garlic, green onion. <laughs> I can't say it. I'm really, really excited for today. It actually soaks up, soaks up. Um, if you enjoyed this video, 